There once was a wizard of Yesta who built a castle with the help of goblins. Today I'm in East Lothian to find out if there's still magic in the forest. Come with me. This here, guys, is the ruins of the 13th century Yester Castle. It was built by Hugo de Gifford, the wizard of Yester himself. Now, the majority of this building has been left in ruins, apart from one room. There's a lot of mystery about that one room. Are you ready to come and see? Follow me. This here, guys, is that very room. You see, Hugo the Gifford was known as the Wizard of Yester. And legend has it, is that he made a pact with the devil. And in this pact, he was summoned an army, an army of goblins, who apparently helped him build this hall this guys inside this small door is the goblin hall come with me This here, guys, this is the Goblin Hall. Seven hundred year old tomb built by the Grand Wizard of Yester with the help of his goblins. To the left here. Down here is the stairwell to hell. If we go down, see it's all blocked. And as you can see, it's been completely blocked up to stop the, the goblins being able to come back and enter Earth. Look at the structure. Back up the stairs.
moment as a wizard of yester a powerful warlock sick of the deals with the devil this chamber here that I sit in today dates back to the 13th century and is one of the oldest forms of this kind of structure in the whole world was this the place where Hugo performed his sacrifices summoned the goblins how powerful was this man and who was Hugo de Vivre? So at the time, in the late 1200s, Hugo de Gifford, the wizard of Yester, had uh, close ties with the King of Scotland, who was Alexander III. Now, Alexander was a very young king, and he was having issues with the Norsemen of the Hebrides, the King of the Isles. And he came all the way to Yester Castle to ask Hugo de Gifford if he could give him a favour see into the future and tell me tell him what was going to happen with the Norsemen I stand at the structure today with the remaining castle of Yester Castle and the proud home of Hugo de Gifford himself the Wizard of Yester So the Wizard of Yester invited the good king in and told him King, I can't help you my power is not strong enough this time So Alexander insisted he told him that he must save him he must tell him what's going to happen to him so the wizard came down the stairs behind me all the way down under the castle we see the goblin hall and he disappeared he came up later that night I told the king king there's one way, there's one man alive who may be able to help you. Apparently in the hill somewhere near the castle, there is an elf knight who is more powerful than any man alive. Now the wizard told King Alexander, go there at 12 o'clock at night. Blow your horn three times. The elf will come out and he will appear as your worst enemy. Now he has to fear you, the wizard told him. If he doesn't fear you, your life is in grave danger. So the great king rode at midnight to the bottom of the hill. He blew his horn three times, just as he was told by the wizard. Suddenly, the ground started to rumble. And appeared a figure out of the earth. So Alexander expected the enemy of Scotland. He was expecting the king and the Norsemen to appear. But no. It was King Edward of England. He charged down to the Edward with his lance in hand. He smashed him as hard as he could and the elf fell to the ground. So Alexander jumps on the elf, tells him, you tell me what you know or your life be finished. And the elf told him, dear king, I can't help you. 
You'll be fine in the battle, but it's the south where the pain comes from. Beware of the south. It was 1263, and the king had a war. A war with the Norsemen in the Battle of Largs. The Norsemen fell, and the King Alexander rid on his way home. Now, Alexander was aware of the threat from the English, and that the Scottish crown needed protected. But he fell to his death, before he could stop Edward coming through. And that, guys, is the Wizard of Leicester's connection to the Scottish Crown. And as you can see, this is the remainders of his castle. And it is quite mind-boggling. 700 years old and large parts of the castle still stay intact today. You can't even see it's behind me. This is the main wall. And below is the Goblin Hall. All right, guys, so that's me. I'm gonna leave the Goblin Hall, the legendary bunker of Hugo de Gifford. There's one wee thing I wanna mention just before I go. Actually, look, a big staircase. Would have been a floor, I reckon. Anyway, sorry. Um, the one thing I wanna mention before I go is the fact that in the 1900s the owner of the land ordered trees to be built everywhere I don't know when exactly but she demanded that the whole site be covered in trees which is great, love it they also closed the castle and there's no signage and if you check on maps it will send you all over the place so it's a very hidden spot and what really hides under here, will we ever know? I don't know, you know, like, I mean, what, what, what is on show is incredible. But the whole castle itself is on a, on a fortified mound and it's got moats all over it. As I walk around and I see all the ancient structures and how grand, massive, this must have been once upon a time one of the largest castles in the area and how many of us know much about it not many so yeah one we last look That's it, folks. Your tour of Yester Castle where the Wizard of Yester built the castle with an army of goblins summoned by the devil. The Goblin Hall is not the only thing in this whole building that's strange to me. It's full of little nooks and crannies that don't make much sense. Wait and see. An eye on that window up there in the doorway. The castle surrounded by these 
beautiful stone bridges just to add to the mystery nice huh so yeah so today has been really fun guys goblins and wizards and what do we have elves for kings good fun so i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit subscribe give me a wee thumbs up It'd be cool and yeah till the next time cheerio